musician, performer, and cultural educator. And that includes a whole lot of things. It means I'm working for films and theater and uh, doing sound effects or composing music. I'm making instruments and some of them I can't get so I have to make them. And that's been nice since 1990. I've made some 30,000 instruments and workshops. Everything from traditional music with these ancient instruments to mixing them with electronics and uh, noise and sound and orchestral instruments and a lot of wacky stuff. <laughs> So on this table, I have several things, uh, different types of flutes, cylindrical and spherical. And then I have other flutes over here and some percussion things. These are the things I make in the workshops that I give in schools and libraries. So the kids get this or adults get this and you come out with that after decorating it. These are flutes and they're made of clay and they're made of bamboo and sometimes they're made of gourds. So I got a round gourd and cut it and do that. And of course, you know, in the different languages, they're gonna have different names. So I tend to use the language of the Nahuatl language or the language of the Aztecs. So we will call flutes in general, tlapitzali. And we'll call the ocarinas or the, the spherical flutes, we'll call them huilacapisli. And the percussion instrument is a log drum or a tongue drum. You may have seen the one that's square with a whole bunch of different tongues. Well, it's a copy of this one. This is called teponazli or log drum. You know? And this is a scratcher or in Nahuatl we say chikawasli. And here's the scratcher with a resonator. Notice it's louder because it's resonating. And uh, of course the rattle, or ayakachli, another classical instrument. So that's what I have on my table. Over here on this side real quick are single flutes, double flutes, large doubles, triple, and the big fatty, a quadruple, all made of clay. type of music I perform is basically three things. I'm playing things from Native America. That's the best way you can say it, uh, from North, Central, and South America. My programs are ancient California, so I'll do it from that point of view. I'll do ancient, uh, um, ancient homelands, where it's North, Central, and South America, and I'll do it from those points of view and explain all those cultures. But then when it comes to ancient Mexico, I'm talking about who I am who my people come from, my mother and my father, and where they're from and what states they're from and the outfits and the instruments. I think my main bag has always been the ancient Mexico stuff. I really like it a lot. It's fun, it's great to play something from who you are. In ancient times, all, all over the world, people used instruments for many different things. They used the instruments for ceremonies, they used them for healing, they used them for calming people down. I kept asking people, what do you think this is? Why are they acting certain ways when they play? And I talked to some of the very early sound healers and they were going, well, maybe you're connecting to the, uh, the outer worlds of the Pleiadian, reptilian, and uh, no, I don't want to hear that. I want to know a scientific, thing, right? And I discovered neuroscience. And neuroscience explained everything that I do. So when I walk into a class, I know what to do. I, I know how to put you to sleep, you know, and I, I know what will make you relax and I know what will make you alert. And I know what will make your brain start calculating. People talk about sound healing, for instance. This is, it's only done with temple bells and gongs. No, it's not only done with things from Asia. It's done with banjos, it's done with violins, it's done with things from different cultures, you know, the erhu from China and the, you know, tlapizali from Mexico and the sitars from India and, you know, all our cultures have these beautiful instruments there. Music for battle, music for games, music for poetry, music for marriage, death, everything. 
I don't believe in diversity. I have a new word I tell everybody, commonality. Because I think we have way more in common than we have in differences. I think it's beautiful. One of the funny things I like to say to audiences go, I'll walk up to the mic and go, um, we're gonna play some country music now. Country of Mexico. <laughs> Six holes out of a four-hole flute. Mm.